Hi everyone, it's Deborah. Welcome to my channel. I am vacationing in uh, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I think I s pronounced that correctly. And ever since I got off the plane, I've been bloated, so swollen I can't even wear this ring that I wore for the last two weeks. I think maybe how I can get it on. Oh my God, but it's so tight. I don't know what it is. I always get a little bloated on the plane. So I walked to the grocery store today and I got too much stuff. I swear I was carrying like 35, 40 pounds back. Oh my God, but I did it. I never want to inconvenience anyone when I'm vacationing with them. I'm with a couple that were my um, neighbors in Ocean City. She said I was the only one that talked to her the whole time that she lived there, and she was the only one that conversed with me. Uh, we were living in a very, uh, I guess the only word for it is highfalutin neighborhood. The neighbor, the uh, mayor lived there, the very exclusive neighborhood on 14th Street in Ocean City where the White Marlin Open is. Yeah, I lived there for four years. I lived there while I was trying to get my um, husband at the time to get his head on straight, but he never did get it on straight. So uh, we have been legally divorced since 2013. Okay, now let me tell you about my dentist appointment. I uh, have been getting dental work in the Dominican and I really like the Monica, is her name, across the street from the supermarket in Sisua. Um, she was, has always been gentle with me. She's always cleaned my teeth. She's always bleached my teeth. No problem. She even did an implant for me. Um, so, but when I was in the DR last year, she canceled her appointment with me. So I've been like behind getting my teeth cleaned one year. Now I floss my teeth every day sometimes twice a day, and I also brush my teeth morning and night. I have $50,000 in this mouth. Now, in case you all didn't know, if I've never told you, but I have lumineers, which were put on over 20 years ago. These eight teeth are, have lumineers, very expensive. It was like $8,000 20, over 20 years ago. Um, I don't see it advertised as much anymore, but they told me I would get 20 years out of it and I've gotten over that. I was very, very satisfied with that. Um, because I was in a car wreck, this tooth died. So I always had to get it bonded and everything. So I just went ahead and got the lumineers, which is like a very thin, contact lens that they put on your teeth. It took many hours for him to get all them on me, but it's been well worth it. So I also am missing two teeth at the bottom because I brought one of my crowns with me to take to the dentist because um, the screw that I had inserted in the DR, it broke off and it's still broken off in my jaw. And she had made me a crown, which I still have. So uh, I think I was eating Laffy Taffy, which you really shouldn't do, but whatever. So I went to the dentist yesterday to get my teeth cleaned. And I told them, I said, don't, don't come across those eight teeth because they're right at the end of their life, right? And they don't need to have that ultrasonic uh, cleaning on the outside because it's not real. It's like it's like a contact lens. But I, I told her she could go in the gum area to clean. And as she was doing that, I would jump. I would jump in the chair. And I have never done that. I've always been able to withstand a t teeth cleaning. I think uh, once I did a little research, she had the ultrasonic um, drill up too high because when she would go too deep into the gum, I would jump and I had to tell her to stop a couple times. I've 
I have a very high pain tolerance, but this was not <laughs> nothing like that. Oh my God. So when she got down here, these are my real teeth. Well, they're all my real teeth. Uh, she, uh, I jumped again. I finally said, stop. I said, stop four times, four different times. And she never would stop. Another thing is I had saliva dribbling down my neck and I've always had, you know, the dentist kind of dab me up, um, but they didn't. I had this pool of water dribbling down my chest and I felt stupid having that and I would tell him to stop so I could dab up the saliva. So, um... Also, this guy came walking in. He did not introduce himself. I thought that was a little strange, but they didn't stop when I told them to. And they didn't like clean me up. And I was just in a lot of pain. I told him I was nervioso. It seems like if they prescribed me a Xanax or something, I would have been a little bit more tolerant. Now, before I went, I took half of a CBD gummy bear and half of a tramadol. Yes, you can get tramadol here, which I am very grateful. Um, I still could feel it. So I might try them one more time, but when I left, uh, they wanted to do x-rays. And I said, no, little did I know the x-rays were free. No one told me. I said, well, I thought I was having to pay for them. I said, I don't want you to take x-rays unless you give me a price on how to, uh, of how much it's gonna to be to take out the screw that's broken, insert another screw and screw back on my new, uh, my tooth that I bought, the crown and glue it on. And I never did get a price. I don't know if they understood I don't know if they understood the word stop. I don't know, because they wouldn't stop. But I thought it was ridiculous to get a full set of x-rays if I wasn't going to get any further work done. And so I said no, but my friends told me that the um, x-rays were free. Who would have known? I sure the hell ain't free in the States. Oh my God. So went to the counter to ask how much I owed them. And they said, no, you don't owe anything. Now I was in that chair for a good 10 minutes or more. It felt like eternity, but um, they did, they did, you know, do the scaler all around, uh, but I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if I was just so exhausted from the plane trip. Oh my God, I tried to upgrade my ticket to uh, a nicer, a little bit be better seat, not first class. They wanted like 50, I don't know, is it $240 more to upgrade to a seat that gave me more leg room. Now this is not first class. I can't, I can't afford that, so I didn't do it. Now, um, I am going to stop this video and do another one on all the things I love about Mexico.